for those listening to an audio version, <laughs> I am leaning at a very awkward angle behind my desk, looking into the camera to check the hair dye after having just dyed my own hair or doing okay. Yeah, okay, liability to asset. We've been speaking about this. I'm still working on it. And I got a quick life hack that has just come. I'm calling this Hunter 3. What is a Hunter 3? <clears throat> it is a super simple way. So I've been working on this thing called liability to asset in this uh, project that I'm working on, this creative service commitment that I'm working on with a friend of mine. And uh, so the long story short is that uh, one of the most important principles uh, that we are teaching inside to our to our people inside this project is uh, turn the guy for me it's OCD but really choose your pick your poison mental health or any circumstance but whatever it is uh, how can you take something that is a complete liability and turn it into an asset that's the narrative that's been going on so case in point I'm mid trauma therapy you know debilitating depression trying to work and I'm awful when it comes to like self-care and this is not a good time to be weak in that area anyway my point being is uh I have a great friend whose name is Hunter and uh I decided that I I, I found myself just through the process of texting being like okay I think I better uh as I'm exercising a workload for this particular thing um I'm not really doing myself any favors by scheduling around, uh, I, I, I'm trying to schedule around a total level of impairment. How do you operate when you're partially impaired? Uh, Self-care, you know, becomes super critical. You, you, you may only have a solid like 45 minutes out, out of a full day. That's my prompt to do my therapy exercise. Um, you got to get good at uh, doing a lot with very little and hence Hunter's three is the three things that I am putting into effect today in line with my purpose uh, while navigating fill in the blank. So because this particular project, uh, my friend comes from the same film industry i just know he's going to get this this particular area so i'm choosing hunter hunter three fill in your blank you know michelle i don't know that yes there must still be people named michelle that are alive i just feel like that name is my childhood name which means michelle's are aging i don't i wonder if there are any baby michelle's out there i feel like that name is done i feel like my name is done for that matter anyway choose whichever person you want uh three three lee three it doesn't have to rhyme with three uh rose three <laughs> mine's hunter three choose your person based on the objective that you're currently having as a priority and uh start sending a, a simple three-step list it's really been a game changer because now instead of approaching the day as though I'm going to accomplish 20 things and I drop the ball every time because it's completely uh, fictitious scheduling, I'm going to talk to somebody that knows where I'm coming from, get a realistic schedule, isolate it to three steps a day, and stay in touch with that person. Hunter 3, we're putting this into the project. And I'm sending this to Hunter. <laughs>